Greet XL2 was developed to examine the energy use and emissions associated with the vehicle life cycle from raw material recovery through disposal and recycling. The wide array of vehicle technologies available in GREET makes this tool especially helpful for analyzing, comparing, and understanding the range of influence that the vehicle life cycle can have on the energy use and emissions of an overall fuel cycle. In this video, I'll be using GREET 2017. To provide some context, GREET 1 and GREET 2 were developed to be used together to comprehensively model life cycle energy and emissions in transportation. GREET 1 models the fuel cycle, and GREET 2 models the vehicle cycle. GREET 1 can be used by itself to model well-to-wheels results for a fuel pathway, but GREET 2 can be used to incorporate unique vehicle parameters that aren't presented in GREET 1. GREET 2 categorizes the parts of a vehicle into components like powertrain, chassis, and body, batteries, fluids, and vehicle assembly, disposal, and recycling. Similar to GREET 1, GREET 2 opens on the Overview tab, where you can find reference information and notes about the model. The cell coloring scheme is similar to GREET 1, where clear cells are used for calculations and secondary assumptions. Yellow colored cells contain key input assumptions that can be user modified, and peach colored cells contain drop down options for modifying simulations. The 44 worksheets can be generally categorized as parameter input worksheets for various vehicles, energy and emissions calculations worksheets for raw materials and vehicle components, and summary and results worksheets. Looking at specific worksheets after the overview, Vehicle Inputs contains some general simulation parameters and default assumptions, then reports key input parameters for vehicle types that are contained in subsequent worksheets. Materials Inputs has a table reporting the material composition of the selected vehicle type, as well as many key input assumptions related to components and materials that can be modified for user simulations. And the car, SUV, and pickup truck worksheets are where input parameters are specified for each vehicle type. The next two dozen worksheets are for calculating energy consumption and emissions related to specific materials used in a vehicle, and the format of these sheets is similar to the fuel production worksheets in GREET 1. There are also a few worksheets containing input parameters, calculations, and summary tables for energy consumption and emissions related to vehicle materials and batteries. There are a couple sheets that I'm going to drag up to the front. The Total Energy Consumption and Emissions sheet shows results broken out into WTP, Vehicle Cycle, and Vehicle Operation Phases. There's also the GREET1 Import-Export sheet. The way to use this sheet is to open GREET1 along with GREET2. And after making a change in one of the linked cells, recalculate the models, and the values refresh in GREET2 as well as in GREET1. So before using GREET2, make your changes to GREET1, and you can carry your changes over to GREET2. And I'll demonstrate that in a little bit. Now I'll walk through the process for a vehicle simulation in GREET2. A good place to start when running a vehicle simulation is actually in GREET1. On the inputs sheet, you can select the target year, the vehicle type, and any well to pump inputs of interest. After this is done, make sure you also have GREET2 open, then recalculate the model. When you jump over to GREET2, Go to the import sheet and you can see that the values have updated here as well as in GREET1. Next, on the vehicle inputs sheet, get an understanding of what makes up the vehicle's weight since this has significant influence on the energy consumption and emissions results. Some of the more important parameters are vehicle weight, battery and fluids, vehicle components like body and powertrain, and even tires. Then go to the Material Inputs sheet to specify the composition of these vehicle components. Toward the top of the sheet are tables with weight percentages of vehicle components. 
Keep in mind that these tables and others on this sheet, and other sheets, contain cells that refer back to the car, SUV, and pickup truck worksheets. And best practice is to go to the appropriate vehicle sheet and change the value there. It will update throughout the model when you recalculate. If you scroll down a bit, you'll start to see quite a few highlighted input assumptions that you can modify for your simulation. Once you've made all of your modifications, you can check your results on the TEC results sheet. As mentioned, energy input and emissions results are broken out by life cycle phase, and they're also grouped by vehicle type. There is a unit selector feature at the top of the page to select preferred units for energy emissions and functional unit. Those are the basics of a vehicle simulation with GREET2. Try running a simulation with a specific vehicle to test out the process and gain familiarity with GREET2. And check out the other videos in the GREET tutorial series. And as always, thanks for watching.